Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the Sniper Assassin Challenge for the Isle of Scale. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and before we get into the video make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hitting the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Also a thank you to Warner Brother Games for giving us a free early access to the game. So for this particular challenge we're going to bring along the briefcase, anyone you want to, bring along the coin and bring along any suppressed sniper rifle that you may have. I recommend the Seeker 300 Ghost, it's the easiest one to unlock, just by completing the uh, the Chaveo Calibration Escalation, which is a part of the Legacy Pack in Marrakesh. Alternatively, you can get the Seeker 300 Tactical, which is unlocked at Mastery Level 10 in the Isle of Scale. So once we start off in the main entrance, obviously we're going to bring along our Pistol 2. We're going to climb up all these stairs and then move to the stairs to the right. And at the back is going to be a pipe, and we're going to need to climb that. But we can't climb it with our briefcase, we're going to actually have to retrieve our sniper rifle, sniper rifle from the kit sniper rifle. What am, I, what am I talking about? Retrieve the sniper rifle from the, from the case and then climb the pipe. From here on out, we're all going to be in this hostile area anyway, so we won't need the case from here on out anyway. Once we get up here now, we're going to go through the window and then pass through this next area. And this, is, this next part is where we're going to use our coins. So this is a similar similar route to the silent assassin suit only that I've done before. From this point, you're going to pull out your coin and then throw it in this direction. The reason for that is we want to get all the heads turning in that direction just to give a safe passage up this ladder so no one looks in our direction. Now from here, this is where we're going to actually snipe our first target. All we got to do really is just wait for our target to get into position and we have a nice little spot here through the gaps in the wall for us to take out our target. We're not really going to we're not going to get caught in this location. So you don't have to worry too much about, you know, getting spotted or anything. These two guys up there are patrolling around and they ain't going to spot you when you take out the target anyway. So all we got to do at this moment point in time really is just wait for our target to come through that door in the distance just in front of us there and that is where we're going to take out the target. This can take about a minute or two to set up, so I'll just keep that in mind, and uh, I'll uh, just skip to the point where we have to actually take out the target. So after about 40 seconds of waiting, she it does eventually come through this door right here. If you're using the Sega 300 Ghost, you can use all four levels of zoom right there, and you can also use the half trigger squeeze to slow down time if you want to, to time the shot a little bit better. It's completely up to you, but once you've taken out the target there, we can move on to our second target. Just make sure you move slowly through this grass here, you don't want to get spotted by those two guards. But once you pass them, you can easily just crouch run through the rest of the grass. And then move over to the right side of here. And then climb up the pipe on the opposite side. Once you climb to the top of the pipe, we're going to get onto the platform that's up there. And uh, we need to wait into the room to the right to wait for our target to get into position. This is very easy because you're going to have to, all, the, all, the, all that's going to happen really is our target is actually going to come to us. We don't really have to move too much. So as you come through this area, we're going to sneak into this room to the right. And this is the area where we're actually going to wait. She's actually going to come up the stairs and we're actually going to create a distraction for her guard. Just to turn around, just to give us enough time to snipe her and then get out of there. So right now she's going to be heading up the stairs and this is about the time she's going to, we're going to cause a distraction. She may be in a different location to you guys, but if she does eventually come up these stairs, whether it's now or whether it's in a minute's time or so, she does come up the stairs regardless. She will always come up this location. So as you can see, she's been followed by a guard. So what we need to do is just get her guard to look in the opposite direction, get them both to turn around just to give us enough time to sneak up and then snipe her without the other person looking at us. And once you've gone ahead and done that, we can actually exit the mission. And now it does say that you have to help Lucas Gray extract the constant, but we're not going to do that. It is an optional objective. It's never a necessity. So we can just go ahead and exit the mission and still get our uh, sniper assassin rate and we don't have to do any optional objectives. It's optional for a reason. And I'm glad they've actually done that. So we're just going to retreat and we come back the same way we uh, entered the area. Again, paying close attention to just stay away from these guys as much as possible. Moving as slow as possible. 
Or alternatively, you can just wait for them to move out of the way and then crawl down these stairs. Look down the bottom there. Watch out for all these guards down the bottom. Uh, just in case they are looking in your direction. But uh, once you get past here, use the exit point. And then once you've exited the mission, you'll get your sniper assassin rating confirmed for you at the end. So as you can see there, sniper assassin completed. So that will do it for this one. So uh, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching the video. Hopefully this has helped you out. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. Drop a like if it did help you out. And hit that bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams too. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Thank you.